Hey guys, and welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Dalton, a 100th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I'll be working through this practice problem with you as though you're one of my private tutoring students. Today's practice problem comes from the end of lesson mastery quiz in lesson three of the physics one module. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. All right, so the key to figuring this problem out is remembering Newton's first law. Now, Newton's first law tells us that if an object has a constant velocity, the net force acting on that object must be zero. The key there, though, is to remember that word net, net force. We know that pretty much everything going on on this earth right now, pretty much every object, including this box of pencils here, albeit an imaginary box of pencils, has lots of different forces acting on it. Right? For instance, we have the force of gravity that might be pulling this box down. There can be forces that are pushing it back up. We have forces that might want to push it to the right, to the left. And the net force is basically the sum total of what we get when we add all these forces up. But these forces can cancel out. So for example, I might have a force pushing to the right, but my net force could still be zero because that maybe there's a force moving in the opposite direction, for example, friction. If those forces are equal, they'll cancel out. My net force will still be zero. However, if I were to push a little harder and make it so that my rightward force was greater than that friction force, well, if these up and down forces cancel each other out and I add everything up, then, it, then I would say my net force is moving in the right. Anyway, now that we understand a few basic concepts about forces and about Newton's first law, let's go ahead and tackle this question. All right, so this question is basically asking us, it sets up this scenario where you have a box of pencils, just like the one we were seeing in that picture earlier, and someone's trying to push that box of pencils across the table. But the box of pencils has a constant velocity. In other words, even though I might be pushing super hard on this box, the speed of this box is not changing at all. The question is, is there a horizontal force on the box? Why is it not accelerating? Okay, let's start with this second answer option down here. That's the one I wanna look at first. It says there is no horizontal force on the box. It is not accelerating because constant velocity means no forces. Well, that's a tempting one because Newton told us that constant velocity means no net forces. Because remember I told you how important that word net is because we can still have forces going in all kinds of directions. No net force means that all those forces cancel each other out. So this answer is going to be incorrect. Because obviously, if I'm pushing on that box, there is some kind of horizontal force on the box. Okay, next answer option. There is a horizontal force on the box. It's not accelerating because the friction of the table is pushing harder on the box. Again, that's tempting. Because there's definitely that horizontal force, like we talked about, on the box. And we know that friction is something that could be canceling that out or slowing it down. That would make a lot of sense. But it says here that the friction of the table is pushing harder on the box than I'm pushing on the box. If that was the case, then I'd expect the box to be accelerating the opposite way towards me, the way I don't want it to be going, because the friction is even stronger than the push I'm providing. And obviously that's not happening. We have a constant velocity, and so that's going to be incorrect. Next, what we've got here, it says, there's a horizontal force on the box. It is not accelerating because the force exerted on the box must be a level that only provides constant velocity. Okay, again, kind of tempting, but remember, any net force is going to create acceleration. If we have a net force in any direction, the box is going to accelerate in that direction. So the problem here isn't that the force isn't strong enough because any force could be strong enough. The problem is that there's no net force. Other forces are canceling that force out. And so we are going to say this is the incorrect option as well. Going back to the first one, let's talk about why it's the right answer. It says there's a horizontal force on the box. It is not, not accelerating because the friction of the table on the box is pushing back just as hard. That makes perfect sense. It's exactly what we were talking about. Obviously, there's force. Obviously, I'm pushing. But because there's a constant velocity, there must be no net force, which means another force is canceling out the push that I'm providing. And that other force that's pushing back is friction. Let's check that answer. Awesome. Perfect. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, 
Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. Now, if you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and request a free phone consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how we can help you maximize your MCAT score. Look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you soon. Have a good one.